I'm sorry, but today is not about you. A lot of people commented about wanting cats and then a lot of people saw cats and didn't want cats. So today I'm going to try and resolve that. That's a little something for people who made comments about that yesterday. Oh. On a trolley? Yeah, they're still in the little cage. Oh. Yeah, to take them out to their photo shoot. I just got so scared. Uh, just Today, let's explain this. Today, I'm down at Guide Dogs WA. I've worked with these guys a little bit before. Insert clip. Today, uh, we're, we've been kindly invited down to have a look at a couple of new puppies. Kristen is joining us because she was first to say, I want to pat puppies of the millions of people who said they wanted to pat puppies. Let's pat some puppies. So they've just so kind of calmed down. Like what's the go, like what, what's the process from here? You guys hand them over to carers and... These are puppy boys. Yep. These two ladies and their family. Yep. So we hand them over, oh sorry, it's coming through. So we'll hand them over to puppy boys. Yeah. Um, great Christmas present. <laughs> and then they'll have them for about 18 months to two years and then they'll enter formal training um, where they come into the office every day and learn the skills of being a guide. Yeah. So in that first 18 months to two years they're exposed to trains and buses and they come here for fortnightly puppy classes and they learn basic obedience skills, you know, how to walk um, comfortably on a lead, yep. not to chew, not to kind of be distracted by other dogs, all that sort of thing. And then they'll come in, when they come in every day, it's like basically school. So they're learning the skills of guiding. They're learning to walk in a straight line. They're learning overhead obstacles, avoiding overhead obstacles. They're learning how to walk through a door, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, okay. So, and generally in that period, that's when we kind of go, yes, this is suitable to be a guide. Mm -hmm. No, we need to find another career for them. They're not quite suited to this role. Yeah. So these guys are out for two years um, before, like the, ideally they want to become guide dogs, is that right? Um, guide dogs is obviously our first priority, yep. um, but obviously guiding is a very demanding role yep. for a dog, yep. um, and not all of them are suited. They yeah, might not yeah. have the right attributes, sorry. <laughs> they might not have the right attributes and the right instincts, that sort yep. of thing, um, and it just might not suit. Um, what they're naturally good at. So um, Gus, for example, is at Ronald McDonald House. He was yep. a very calm, very laid back um, sort of dog and it was kind of hard to yep. you know, motivate him to do the guiding work. Um, but he doesn't lick. He's very, very good with kids. Yep. Um, and he's just like really calm presence. So he's been perfectly placed at Ronald McDonald House. So if people wanted to Oh, well, like it's like a big audience now. <laughs> hey guys. Josh is probably the person to speak to about all these things. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. So Josh, this is Bruce. Hi. How are you going? <laughs> Josh is our. Puppy. Can't be a bad day. You getting a puppy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not getting one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad day. Hence the tears. Yeah. Yeah. So Josh is our puppy raising supervisor. Yep. Hey, how you going? Sorry, how you doing? Right. <laughs> yes. um, I had a lot of people saying, like, obviously, can I come down with you and da -da 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 and that sort of stuff. If people do want to get involved in Guide Dogs WA, how do they do that? We have lots of different um, volunteer streams, so it really depends on what they're interested in doing. Yep. Um, so obviously, ultimate role, you know, this puppy raising. Yeah, everyone wants the puppy raise, <laughs> everyone right? Everyone wants the puppy raise, um, but. You know, um, there's lots of other volunteering roles. Yep. We obviously have um, temporary boarders where mm -hmm. our puppy races go away, yep. um, formal boarders. Um, so how do people, like, can they jump on the website? Can yeah, they... so if you jump on the website, there's application forms for puppy racing, mm -hmm. temporary boarding, all that sort of thing. Yep. Um, otherwise, you can just get in touch with us. We've got other programs, like in the Eagle program, we're always looking for people to go out near the little coin collection oh, yep. containers yep. and like Coles and other stores and that sort of thing. And so is there any equipment and stuff? Like I know when I've worked with rescue houses there, after blankets and things like that, yeah, absolutely. We have a Christmas wish list at the moment. Yep. Um, so there's all the information on our website. And we have a few drop-off points around Perth. Um, we're asking for things like blankets, Kongs, um, 
you know, like fleece, fleece or crochet blankets, yep. um, chew toys, um, snuggle plush toys, yep. um, and all that sort of thing. And so if um, you know, people just want to pop down to the shop and grab us a blanket or two, and then we have five drop off, yep. drop off points. One in our centre in Big Park. We have one anytime fitness in Building. Mm -hmm. um, we have one holiday inn in the city centre. I'm just trying to remember where the other ones are. Cottesloe Vet yep. is our vet partner. But they're all listed on your website. They're right? all listed on our website Easy. and everything like that. <laughs> So that is Guide Dogs WA. It's um, really interesting to work with charities because um, <clears throat> they kind of work differently as businesses, but also it's always nice to put something back into a community that you work in. Um, and when they invite you down for something such as that, like padding fluffy stuff, then you know it's a great way to spend the first part of your morning. And now I gotta go do some work. We're on a shoot today. feel like all of my vlogs are ending up with me getting into a car. Anyway, I want to thank you guys. Extra piece of vlog content today. So last time I shot a film with Danae Brown, who's a games athlete. Danae Brown out of Australia. And Danae Brown is making quick work of this thing. Here comes Danae Brown. Danae Brown is now in the lead and she has yet to stop. <laughs> she couldn't complete any single skipping. And at the time I couldn't complete any double unders. <laughs> I've now got double unders, and the test is whether Danae has got any singles. Have I practiced my singles? <laughs> so, in 30 seconds, we will both do the max of either doubles or single skipping. What's the winner get? Bragging rights? Bragging rights. <laughs> sure. So, place your bets now. Place your bets now! Come on, come on, quick, quick! Bet, bet, bet! Bedding end! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're still good. Today I can successfully say that I am better than a games athlete. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.